What's up, y'all? It's your boy Jason here with the Cow Park Bros. And I'm here to bring you another edition of the Cow Park Bros monologue. Yes, you probably could have figured this was coming. Last week, I made my predictions for the NFL divisional round, or rather the NFL wildcard round. But today, I bring you my predictions for the NFL divisional round. We got four games on the slate today. So I'm going to, not today, but for the weekend, today and tomorrow. So I'm going to give you my predictions for all four games. And real quick, just so you guys know, in this case you're not familiar with the whole Cal Park Bros monologues and what that is, basically what that is, is basically a random recording that either myself or my fellow host Terrence might do whenever we want to talk about one particular thing, something we want to talk about, something we want to put put it on wax as my uh, co-host might say, but something we don't necessarily need or want the other individual to uh, chime in on. So it's, it's like the name says, monologues, one person. So here we go. So yes, so again, here are my predictions for the 2022 NFL Division Round four games, all right? So the first game on the slate this weekend is the Bengals, the Cincinnati Bengals at the Tennessee Titans. The game's today at 4.30 p.m. Eastern. Oh, speaking of which, just to get a timestamp on this, as of right now, it is January the 22nd. It is 2.51 p.m. Eastern. And here we go, the timestamp. So we've got an hour and a half before the game starts, so here we go. But anyway, so again, like I said, the first game is Cincinnati Bengals versus the Tennessee Titans. Again, that game kicks off at 4.30 p.m. Eastern. Titans are the home team. Uh, just to kind of give you an idea here. So again, the Titans were the number one seed in the uh, AFC. So they earned the bye week. So they didn't play last week. The Bengals, again, I believe they're four seed, correct? They were a 10-7. and seven, And they are the uh, AFC champions, division winners. They did play last week, and they got a got a got a win, like just like I predicted. So, also recap. So last week, I my predictions I made, uh, made six predictions. I got four games right. It's not a bad bad stretch. The only two games I got wrong were the uh, I picked the Patriots to beat the Bills, and we all know that that didn't pan out at all. And then I also picked the the Dallas Cowboys to beat the 49ers. So clearly, I made one huge mistake. By actually picking the Cowboys and win a, win a, a playoff game, so that was my mistake. So my bad. But uh, so here we go. So again, Bengals versus Titans. Again, Titans are the home team. Um, so that would kind of have me leaning towards picking them. Last week, uh, I believe the home teams went uh, four and two or five. And, actually, went five and one. Excuse me. So that kind of so this week kind of makes you want to because of that makes you kind of want to lean towards maybe picking the home teams again. And you know, picking the Titans, you know, of course, would be kind of easy. They're, they may have Dick, Derrick Henry back, which is their big offensive weapon at running back. and But with him being out for two, two and a half months, it's like, okay, obviously he's still going to be Derrick. He's still Derrick Henry in name, but in body, will he be there? Because he, he hasn't played in two and a half months. And he are getting thrust into a, a major playoff game to, to you know, to get your team back to the Super Bowl. So, um, However, I believe I'm going to go with the Bengals in this game. Uh, despite Joe Burrow being his first uh, playoff run and last week being at home, so that gave him that comfort. Tennessee, obviously, is not going to be at home. Uh, still a Midwest game, so it's not like they're traveling far away. Uh, I, I just think they're kind of on a roll. S- sometimes when teams get, come off a of bye week, that actually doesn't help them at all. And with Tennessee, I don't, they're obviously a good team. I don't think they're that strong to say that bye week is going to help them, other than obviously having Derrick Henry be able to come back and play. So I'm actually going to take the Cincinnati Bengals to win this. Uh, if I'm going to put a score to it, I, I, I'd say Devin Dick Henry back is at least good for total three touchdowns for the team. Not saying he's going to have three touchdowns, but uh, so I will say Titans, rather Bengals 26, Titans 21. We'll go with that. Um, the second game for the day um, is going to be the San Francisco 49ers versus the the Wisconsin football team. And yes, yes, folks. I will not call them by their actual name. As a Bears fan, I cannot do that. I cannot acknowledge them. I will not acknowledge them. But for the purpose of talking football, talking predictions, I got to call them something. So I call them the Wisconsin football team. So anyway, so that game is obviously in Wisconsin. And the game is at 8.15 tonight, Eastern. So like I mentioned, the 49ers, you know, busted my prediction last week when they beat the Cowboys on the road. Um, so. Obviously, they can win win uh, playoff games on the road because they just did it last week. But this is a little different. So, obviously, they're you know 
they were traveling a little bit across country, going to, from San Francisco to Dallas. So now they're going San Francisco to Wisconsin, nor- northern Wisconsin. And however, there's going to be a huge difference where, as you can imagine already, the weather. And that's something I know it gets overblown, over talked about when people say they're going to you know northern Wisconsin to play the, this football team. But it's real. You got it's something you gotta gotta consider. The, the stadium's outside, and it's January, late late January at this point. And just kind of a point of reference here, around game time of the day, the weather's gonna be ten degrees, ten degrees. Uh, the wind's not gonna be blowing hard. Doesn't mean it's not gonna be a wind chill, but still, huge difference in weather coming from San Francisco, California, to again northern Wisconsin to play. So now the Packers, they are the number one seed. In the NFC, just like the Titans were number one in the AFC, Packers were number one in the uh, NFC. So they didn't play last week. They earned that bye. They were division winners of the uh, NFC uh, North. Uh, Niners were a wild card to get in. So um, with that being said, um, as much as this may pain me to say, I am going to pick the Wisconsin football team to win this game. Um, They are not, you know, I, I don't, they don't, they never really impressed me much this year. Granted, not, they're not the only team not to do that, which we're going to talk about one of them later. But I think the fact that they're going to be at home, I think this is where I give them a, a, the home, the strong home field advantage for the 49ers. Hey, trust me, if the, four, if, the if there's one game I'll get wrong this weekend, I hope it's that one. But but again, I'm, you know, professionally or whatnot, I'm picking the uh, the uh, Wisconsin football team to win that game uh, to put a score to it. Um, it wouldn't shock me if this was kind of a low scoring, but. Eh. Actually, to be honest with you, I probably put it somewhere close to the same score as the Bengals Titans game. Uh, I'll say Packers 24, 49ers 21. All right. And the games for tomorrow, first one, divisional round game again, the Los Angeles Rams versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Yeah. So, anyway, uh, actually, let me look. Where is this game? Uh,. I figured this game would be in Los Angeles, but they are putting it as being in Tampa Bay. Oh, wow. Okay. For some reason, I thought the, the Rams, I forgot the Rams lost their last game. That's right. So it's going to be the Los Angeles Rams at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So Tampa Bay, the second seed in the NFC, had a great season, took advantage of the Rams losing certain games. So they moved up from, I believe, what, for, they were a four or five to, you know, the four rather, to, you know, the number, uh, Number four. So both teams obviously won their games last week. The Rams did so in, I don't want to say dominating fashion, but it wasn't really that close of a contest for, for them. They took advantage of that. They hadn't played very well towards the end of the season. I mean, they won four in a row, I believe, at the end of their season, but they weren't, weren't really looking impressive. Um, but they took care of business last week. You know, it was a home game, obviously, so that may help versus an opponent they had already played, you know, a couple times at least. However, the Rams and Buccaneers did play in the regular season. And correct me if I'm wrong, but the Rams actually won that game. Uh, it was very early on, so of course you got to keep that in mind as well. Uh, again, the Rams are not traveling all the way across country to Southern California to Southern Florida. So, again, got to factor that in mind as well. Although the game's at 3 p.m. Eastern, so it's not like a noon game, so they had that little bit extra time to actually get their bearings and things like that. So... With that said, um, I've, I've been someone who's been following and watching the Rams all season. I've, I've had uh, Matt Stafford as my quarterback for fantasy football as well as Cooper Cup and Robert Woods before he got injured, of course. So I've been following their offense and whatnot. I definitely recognize that their offense hasn't been always as impressive once Robert Woods went out. Um, I know they have Odell Beckham, which you know is what it is. So and Tampa Bay is Tampa Bay. They are the defending Super Bowl champions. So it's like this one's kind of brought, for me, this is probably the toughest one to pick. Just because of what I just said, you know, been following the Rams all all year and kind of knowing how good they are versus the Rams are still, rather the Buccaneers are still the defending champions. Still have all all they, well, they brought back all their all their players from last year, but obviously they have a couple of key injuries with Chris Godwin. He's out. Mike Evans obviously still there. They released Antonio Brown. Uh, still have Gronk, and you know, you know Tom Brady likes relying on Gronk. So the this is the hardest one to pick. Although I think I. It's hard because I want to pick the Rams to win this, but I remember picking the Buccaneers, or rather picking the Chiefs last year in the Super Bowl, and I, I remember going over predictions with, with some of my friends and coworkers or whatnot, and I remember I distinctly remember one kid saying, "Don't bet, don't go against Tom Brady in the in the playoffs for Super Bowl." 
And I remember him saying that. I'm like, I, 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 can't, I understand that, but I can't go with them against the Chiefs. The Chiefs were just looking strong last year. And anyway, like I said, said, we know what happened to Tampa Bay's the Super Bowl champion. So as much as I want to pick the Rams in this one, I, I, I can't, and just, at least not in this game, I can't go against Tampa Bay, the Buccaneers. So I'm actually going to go with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to win this one. Um, I think it has the potential to be a high-scoring game. Uh, but I'm going to go with the Buccaneers 28, the Rams 27. So it's going close. We'll say the Rams miss a, uh, a field goal somewhere or extra point somewhere in there, and that's why they wind up losing. So there's that game there. All right. And then for the, the last game of the weekend, probably the highlight game of the weekend, the one probably every football fan is looking forward to, the Buffalo Bills, the number three seed, at the Kansas City Chiefs, the number two seed. Here we go. So if you watched the monologue last week, you recall me saying that nothing the Bills had done all year had impressed me at all. Um, they hadn't really beaten anybody for a lot of the year. They For, for a long time, they hadn't beaten any team that actually had a winning record at the time. Obviously, with the season over now and the final records being in place, that actually changed. Uh, but still, going into the last week's playoff game, they hadn't impressed me. I will have to say, obviously, when they destroyed New England, that opened my eyes a little bit. So it's like, okay, I will give them their just due. Buffalo Bills. You impress me. There you go. Um, but the playing the Kansas City Chiefs, they're on the road. Uh, obviously, last year in the playoffs in the AFC Championship game, the Chiefs obviously won to get the Super Bowl and what was you know not a very impressive performance in in all cases when or at least in some cases when it comes to the Buffalo Bills offense. But this is a different Buffalo Bills team. Obviously, we saw their offense can can get going. Now, obviously, they're playing a different opponent. I was last week when I picked the uh, the Patriots last week to beat the Bills. I was kind of thinking the uh, Patriots would, you know, that 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 Bill Belichick defense would step up and maybe do something on the road to stop the Buffalo Bills. Obviously, that didn't work. Um, not sure where to put the Chiefs' defense when it comes to are they better than the Patriots' defense? They definitely play like it uh, to finish the season as opposed compared to when it started. So that alone kind of makes me want to pick the Chiefs in this and. I mean, it's Patrick Mahomes. I'm not going to put him on level of Tom Brady to say don't go against Patrick Mahomes because, again, we've seen earlier this year where he wasn't – the way he was playing wasn't really all that great. He wasn't getting them wins. However, obviously the team has been a lot better. They were rolled to the two seed. Um, they didn't quite get the bye week, but, you know, it is what it is. Obviously both teams won their game last week. As much as the Bills impressed me last week, and I was, again, the first thing they've done all year to impress me, I – I don't think they've done enough, at least not for me, at least to say, "Hey, this, they're they, they're going to be they're going to be able to do enough to beat the Chiefs on the road this week." Obviously, they you know, obviously again, the the recognize the Buffalo Bills are a better team last uh, this year than they are last year. This isn't the AFC Championship game, so maybe less pressure. But I just kind of wonder, are the Bills ready for this rematch? Are they kind of overhyped to say we got to beat the Chiefs? You know. And nothing wrong with being overhyped, but I just wonder if that's going to play a role at some point that may cause them to maybe get too overhyped and do something to cause themselves to lose the game. Uh, either way, I am going to have to go with the Kansas City Chiefs in this one, uh, just because they are at home. I, that uh, as good as the Bills' offense is, obviously, I don't know if I can go against the Chiefs, the Chiefs' offense when it comes to this high pressure game. They're at home. The Chiefs' defense has played better. You know, towards the end of the year, uh, not saying they've been perfect, obviously, but I, I think you might be able to take the defenses out of this equation to some degree. Um, I don't think it's going to be like overly high scoring, but I think it might be on par with the Rams versus Buccaneers game. Um, with that being said, I am going to go with Kansas City, as I said, and I'm going to say Chiefs 31, Bills 28. So there we go. So, folks, those are my predictions for the 2022 NFL Division Round Games. Of course, you know I'm going to be back next week for the NFL Championship Game weekend with my predictions for that. But again, this has been Jason, host of the Cal Park Bros podcast with the Cal Park Bros monologues. Make sure you go to calpartbros.com, Apple, Apple Podcasts, Spotify. Check out all 40 of our episodes. They're there. But when it comes to all things Cal Park Bros, make sure you like us, love us, share us, and follow us. Because if you like us, why wouldn't you?